All right, here I am again on the Genesee Road River Crossing number two in Flint, Michigan, or I think it's like between Flint and Mont Morris, maybe Burton, but yeah, I would say it's Flint, Michigan. And I am back to uh, show you guys a bit of an update that has been done to this crossing, as you guys may tell right away, that all the lights, all of the uh, Safe Tran or Rayco 8 inch lights have been replaced by these LED lights of some sort. But real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and do a retour of this crossing because, uh, you know, I feel like I was missing some information on the last one, but hey, you know what? So, might as well. So this crossing right here is owned by the Huckleberry Railroad, which where, uh, you know, this takes place of a, on a 36 inch, you know, narrow gauge track where a couple of steam locomotives run through and whatnot, you know, pretty much a rail museum and they're running today. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, catch 152 while she's running. So yeah, let's go ahead and begin with the two or so right here. So for the first signal, it still has its doorman cantilever. So doorman, I think it's just a rebrand of Rayco, I think. And here's the emergency information, the dot tag. They actually put some emergency information right here, but there is a dot tag underneath it as well. But yeah, and for the gate mechanism, this still has its doorman gate mechanism with its doorman base. And I think worth mentioning, back in the day, this crossing used to have a wishbone gate on it. But since it due, due to it, I think being too heavy, they had to replace it with a conventional gate. But although it's a bit of a loosey-goosey point, loosey-goosey at this point, I guess. So yeah, and for the lights, which is the major change I have to this crossing, are for the mass lights, there are two pairs of modern industries 12 by 24 inch lights with LEDs shoved in them, as you can see. I don't know why they had to get rid of the Rayco or Safe Train 8 inch lights that used to be here, but uh, I guess they did. So they replaced them with Modern Industries 8 inch uh, 12 by 24 inch lights. And for the overhead lights, are also two more pairs of those Modern Industries 12 by 24 inch LEDs, which I think these were recycled off of another crossing somewhere because ju judging from all the wear and tear, so these are probably recycled. So they, uh, I guess, took out some of the incandescent bulbs and shoved LEDs in them. But yeah, and thankfully the Griswold mechanical bell still remains on this crossing, which is pretty neat. But I don't know why they uh, did that, so go ahead and cross the road here. But, oh well, they had, they had to do it anyway, I guess for uh, brighter reasons, they were pretty dim anyway. So yeah, so here's the next signal, which still retains its Rayco cantilever with its uh, hose clamped on base plate. <laughs> and here's the dot tag once again. And once again, the pairs, the lights are three more pairs of Modern Industries 12 by 24 inch LEDs. And as you can see, they also replaced the junction boxes as well with Harman junction boxes and Safetran junction boxes. Well, the two junction boxes over on that signal are both Harman, but this one has a Safetran junction box. And I think this one still holds on to its original junction box. But the overhead lights are also two more pairs of Modern Industries 12 by 24 inch LEDs. And the bell still also still remains on this one, which is a Western Cold Haze mechanical bell, which I don't know why it still is not functional at all. Like, uh, you'd think maybe when they replace these lights, they would make this mechanical bell working again, but I guess not. It's still, it's still pretty much dead. And the doorman gate mechanism also remains with the massive counterweights because to uh, cope with this power line. But yeah, let's take a look at the track view. Down there is heading towards a loop where the train turns around at. You could probably see the train too. It's currently turning around and also it heads right towards the Genesee County Fairgrounds as well. Yeah, I can hear 152's whistle, so I'm gonna hurry up and finish this video and get set up. And down there it heads towards the village itself, some trussel bridges, and they also have their Halloween decorations up, which is pretty neat. And you see there's an old caboose right there, and also it's a relay case. So this right here is its relay case. It's actually a GRS relay case with a gate light on it but yeah this right here is my updated tour of the genesee road railroad crossing number two sad that sad to see them eight inch lights go but i guess they had to do it so yeah with that said over and out